All right, welcome. Filthy kitchen cooking with the Squatchman. Late night edition. It is four in the morning. And here I am. Four o'clock in the morning, imagine that. I'm usually at work at this time, but I am currently on my holidays. So as a result, I got some sleep and now I'm up. So I took these steaks out way too long ago and planned on cooking them. They've been on the counter for way too long, but they smell like they're not spoiled. I hope I don't have to throw them in the garbage. I'm going to cook them. Hope that the nose knows. If the nose knows, then all should be fine. If the nose doesn't know, I will cook them. And if they taste weird, I'll probably have to chuck them in the trash. But anyway, the oil is heating on the burner waiting for the smoke point. When the smoke point arrives, I'll put the steaks on. I, I should probably raise the heat a little just because those steaks have been out. So yeah, I'm gonna cook these on six, I think. I could probably cook them on seven, but I don't wanna burn them. Last time I accidentally burned the steaks, I had them on nine. I don't know how that happened, but that's happened. So you know what they say, even monkeys fall out of trees sometimes. We all make mistakes and that was a mistake. Now, there's another problem with this burner is that this the stove doesn't seem to be level. The oil is coming towards me. So I should try to solve that problem. Anyway, the oil has just reached the smoke point. Oh, what a surprise. I forgot my timer. I'll be right back. My timer! Oh my. kitchen. So that oil is ready. Get those cookie some steakos. Cookie some steakos. Cookie some steakos. Look at that. Singing the song of nutrition. This is what the, the sound of cooking meat sounds like. So just because I cook a lot of meat and eggs doesn't mean vegetarians are not welcome on my channel. Vegetarians welcome. For you, I recommend the Basmati Rice Chronicles. I haven't cooked Basmati Rice in a while. But that's the beauty of rice. If you keep it dry, it lasts a long, long time. I got my tongs here. And while I'm waiting, I'm going to get the other steak ready. The other steak. Two steaks in this styrofoam container.
I hope they're good. They're slightly slimy, which tells me they should have been cooked a while ago. Right. This holiday, or vacation, you know, whatever you call it, my main objective was to catch up on my sleep at this point. So, oops. So cooking has uh, been a number two priority. As important as cooking is, getting some rest is also very important. So that's one thing. I did manage to catch up on my sleep quite well. Sadly, you can only catch up on so much sleep. And I miss way too much. But, at least, at least I caught up on the sleep that I most recently lost. Now, what am I doing? I'm cutting the fascia on the steak. The steak wasn't lying flat. It was curled up. So... There's a bit of connective tissue that was around the steak called fascia. I just cut that to encourage the steak to lie flatter. Lie flat, young steak. Lie flat, young steak. Now, of course, I don't have a plate ready either. My gosh. This truly is filthy kitchen cooking at its finest. So now that I'm on holiday, maybe I can get myself to clean off the kitchen a bit. So it will still be a filthy kitchen in name. But, oh, looky, looky, steaky cookie. Looky, looky, steaky cookie. And, of course, I'm not ready. Not a huge deal. A little bit more cook time is in the end of the world. Oh, my. Or burn the boy. I'm gonna do a cardinal mistake. I never, never, never flip the steak twice, but I'm making an exception right now just because I'm not ready. Alrighty, here we go. One steak done. Put that on the plate. Put some butter on that boy. Buttering up the steak all. Buttering the steak. Yeah, baby, buttering the steak. A little butter on a steak is a beautiful thing. It's fine, it's fun, it feels like a king. All right. Now, we're late with this one. So I'm going to season this and get it ready. How smells the? Seems okay. I don't know. What do I know? I'm not a dog. I'm not a deer. I only have a human sense of smell. I'm not a shark. I can't detect blood from a mile away. Ooh, lots of smoke coming from the pan. That's not a good sign. The oil sheet is 
becoming highly acidic in this over hot pan situation. Break down. The oil is breaking down just like it breaks down in your engine if your engine overheats. Cooking the oil. Cooking the cooking oil. Here we go. Is it too late? I hope not. Throw that in now. Put this in the and wait for the magic to happen. Why not? Every steak should have its own plate. Now, I'm not very hungry at the moment. I ate a lot of cereal yesterday. I went to the uh, supermarket and I bought some cereal and some milk. I never do that, but once in a while you get these cravings. And as we talked about in the last awareness video, you know, all things in moderation, that which you resist persists. And I had a craving for some cereal, so I could have fought that and resisted and renunciated. But, if you resist, it persists. So I said, well, I haven't had a bowl of cereal in years. Well, it seems like years. Or, let's just say, very, very rarely do I have cereal, and very, very rarely do I have milk. So I had a craving for it, so I said, fine. Let's, oh no, this steak is a little singed. The oil, the steak is a little singed. Not happy with this, there's a ring of, there's a ring of like burnt steak going around the edge. But oh well. Oh well, what can you do? The heat is high. The pan is hot. <laughs> A lot of smoke going on. Not happy about that, but that's what happens to you. Pan is too hot. It might kill the microbes, but burns the steak a little. Anyway, this video is getting a little long. I hope you enjoyed spending some time with me at 4 o'clock in the morning. So, till next time. Who loves you, baby? This guy. Don't forget it. Anyway. One thing about this vacation time, these days I have off, gives me a chance to rest, recuperate, and make some videos. So, I'll put up a video soon. Remember, you're somebody's favorite person in this world. Maybe me. Love you.